Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Lord. So we just posted a video about how John Wall could have potentially been traded to the Miami Heat allegedly. Like I said, these are all rumors. And now we're going to talk about another rumor. And that is his partner in crime, at least currently Bradley Bill, potentially being traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, reportedly the Lakers could be interested in moving Brandon Ingram and the fourth overall draft pick to bring in Bradley Bill. Now for the Lakers... And the Lakers fan like myself, on lottery night, it was a great night. You're projected to have the 11th pick. You move all the way up to four. A lot of people say it's rigged. I don't care if it's rigged or not. It definitely helped the Lakers out tremendously having the fourth pick. Now, of course, third would have been better in a draft that is considered to be three person um, people deep when it comes to potential franchise changers. But four, I think you can get a very, very good selection at that spot if you do your homework and you get the pick right. So trading Brandon Ingram, who has the potential, the blood clots, though, is definitely impacting his trade value. He's not worth what he once was at least a year or two ago. I think that's definitely going to hurt the trade value. But attaching that with the fourth overall pick to get you Bradley Bill, I don't mind that also. Because you look at it from this perspective, you'll still have the money to go get you another guy. You can bring in Bradley Bill, who will stretch out the floor for you. Bradley Bill will play defense also on that end for you. And he's only, what, 25 years old? He's still young. He's a great fit. I think he doesn't mind playing in L.A. He'll help out LeBron James. I don't mind it. Brandon Ingram, I don't think his game really um, meshes well with LeBron James. I think him going to a situation where maybe they utilize him a little bit differently. I think that would help. The fourth overall pick, I think that's going to help the um, Wizards as well. For Washington, you need to get the most value you can from Bradley Beal if you decide to trade him, or John Wall. Whatever one you decide to trade, I think that experiment with them two long-term is just simply not going to work. It looks like they don't want to admit it, but let's be real. I don't think it's simply going to work with Bradley Beal and John Wall there. You have to split them up. And if this is what you can get back, I don't think it's a bad haul. It's not the best haul from a Bradley Bill. I think you could maybe get a little bit more, but I don't think it's a bad haul. For the Lakers' perspective, I don't mind it. I think it definitely helps them out. I think the Lakers should be looking for an active trade and getting a free agent both this offseason. And if Bradley Bill is one of them, I don't mind that. I definitely don't mind that at all. Of course, Anthony Davis is who you will want first. But you don't mind Bradley Bill either. But you guys let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. Is this a trade that you would take or make on either end? The fourth overall pick, Bradley Bill. I mean, fourth overall pick, excuse me, and Brandon Ingram for Bradley Bill. Do you think it's a good look from both sides? Do you think it's a bad look? You guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lord. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.